Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to the first episode of Relaxing Minecraft. Now, what this is going to be is just a series where myself, I've got Dexkey Wolf with me right now. Uh, go ahead and give us a wave, Dexkey. Yeah, there you go. I can hear him, but we haven't figured out a way yet to let you guys hear him too. Maybe we'll find that out in the episodes to come. But just recently got the PS4 version of Minecraft, and I figured everybody likes Minecraft. What better way to just have a uh, series that's just me and my buddies, whoever's available, just playing Minecraft. So we're on survival. We've set it on easy. If you guys want to play along at home, we've named the world Relaxing Minecraft. And the seed I've put in for the generator is taking it easy. All lowercase, all run together, no G on taking. So, alright. Alright, first, let's get some stuff so we can make some tools. Basic Minecraft stuff. And another reason I wanted to tell you guys at home that I just got this is because you're going to be seeing a lot of the trophies pop up. Because this is literally the first time I've turned it on. So if you... Have... Oh, gotcha. I was going to say, um, what kind of new stuff is in this now, Derek? Okay. Because I know the PC version has something where you can, like, make shields and have shields and swords at the same time and all that kind of wacky stuff. Oh, that's cool. Um, well, I mean, we got... We've got maps, and with the worlds being as supposedly a lot bigger than the 360 worlds, I wouldn't mind taking a look around, seeing if we can't find a good place to... Oh yeah, yeah, we should find some villages. And we're also going to have to take down some sheep so we can make some beds just in case. Oops, I'm going to do that. Oh, and if those at home or fans of the game are wondering, I am using the Joel skin that was in one of the uh, DLC packs for the PS4 version. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense that you're wearing the friggin' tennis outfit because we were just playing tennis with a pig. <laughs> oh. At yeah, I was going to say, you should be able to, if you want to, pause it and select the skin, since you'll be showing up on my side of the uh, recording while I take these sheep out so we can try to get some wool. Okay, got four pieces of wool. We'll need two more and we can make two beds. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, holy crap. I've actually got a pretty nice little clearing out here, Derek. If we want to build our first house down here at the base of this clearing, so we can kind of see what's coming on all around us. And there's a mountain nearby. Let me clear out some of the grass.
What, where you are or where this clearing is? Oh, gotcha. Well, I see a lot of uh, mountains out in the distance. Oh, cool. You went with regular old Steve. That's a good color. It's a good outfit. Okay. Now how to use the inventory. Oh, yeah. I know in my 360... In the 360 version, uh, last time I played, I made a uh, one like a wheat processing factory, where I, it'll like I can go. Th I have to replant it by hand, but then I can just flip a switch and water comes through and kind of clears it all out. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start mining. See if I can't get us some cobblestone. So I can go ahead and make us a furnace to cook this meat. And we still need uh, two pieces of wool. I see one. Like what, bud? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, instead of coal, you can make the charcoal stuff. Yeah, well, I was going to say, that's the one of the best things about this game. There's so much little stuff going on that you can play it for years and still miss things. That's the nice thing about it. Okay, I've got five pieces of wool, and it is already getting dark. Yeah, I just took out one sheep, but I couldn't find any more. One more. And we can make beds and there's a sheep behind you. We're going to have monsters in a second. I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. Come over and, come over and throw it at me and I'll go ahead and make this last bed. Alright, there we go. One, and two. Sleep, sleep! Ah, awesome. That was close. <laughs> Still here what? Oh, here. Derek, here. Just in case we get separated by the time night comes around. Oh, yeah, we can make floors. i just trying to go ahead and dig into this mountainside and get some cobblestone for us. First room of the house, I'd say decent size, because we're going to have to put the uh, the furnace and the workbench and stuff like that in there, and a couple of chests for the time being until we expand. Oh, yeah, that's the best thing about it. Just watch the time fly by and just build stuff and explore. That's why it's relaxing Minecraft. <laughs> Alright, I think I got enough so I can build us a, a furnace. We can cook this meat. 
Oh yeah, people do some crazy stuff with this. Go into creative mode and build all manner of stuff. I've seen like the entirety of Minas Tirith from Lord of the Rings. There's people that have spent years making life-size models of ships from Star Wars and Star Trek and cities from Game of Thrones and people do some crazy stuff. gonna go digging for coal then I got a furnace but I can't figure out how to make the um and people are probably yelling at me in comments if people are even watching this but uh, I can't figure out what to put down first in order to burn it to make charcoal oh that's what I tried I tried putting the planks I tried putting the regular wood so I'm just gonna... Mm -mm. For some reason it didn't work. Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I found a vein of coal that had one block. <laughs> but that's enough to get us started. Holy crap. If you come to the top of the, um... Actually... Derek. You, s you see up here where I am on top of this mountain? Gather up the wood and the, um... The furnace and the workbench and come up here. There's an even better place up here for us to build a house. And it's got one amazing view up here. Holy crap. I'm gonna... Get some more of this coal before it gets dark. start digging an area for us to lay a foundation for the house. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Like, this is a really weird game to commentate on. <laughs> I can understand if, like, you get close to a creeper and it's like, Oh no, it's a creeper! Or something like that. But most of the time, that's that's why it's, that's why it's such a nice game to play. Because you can just enjoy the game. Where you at, buddy? 
Oh, okay. Uh, which board game is that? Oh, Settlers of Catan? Yeah, no, that's, that's a great game. <laughs> I always thought it'd be funny if they made a Minecraft edition of Settlers of Catan. That just changed the graphics on all the cards and the tiles and stuff. Nothing has to change for the game, just make it look like Minecraft. Yeah, Overwatch is freaking great. And I love the fact that they uh, released it early. That was really cool. But I know it might just be me, but it feels like the game... Not the game itself. The game itself feels pretty much the same from the open beta. But the kind of people that we're facing online feels different. Like, it almost feels that the beta... I don't, I'm not sure how to describe it. And it might just be the matches I'm getting into. But it just... It just gets really frustrating because people are just... Spawn camping and... You get a lot of people that play as Soldier 76. And I think that's because they've played other games like Call of Duty. And that's just the only kind of first-person shooter they know. Granted, he's, he's a fun guy to play as, because he's got the rockets, he's got the healing, and he's got a sprint, which gets you to the objective a hell of a lot faster. That's why I always fucking love it when you, when you play as Lucio, because you get us to the objective so much quicker when we can all just run alongside you. Yeah, yeah, I think everybody's kind of getting the whole idea that it is a cooperative game and you really have to kind of and see i think that's times where like when we were playing this afternoon that those are there are times where people aren't really filling the roles of a group and that's why we kind of lose or lose our position or die and shit like that Hey, it's all good, man. Everybody starts to get sick at some point. But you see the little, uh, you see the little area down here? Yeah, I've kind of squared it off with cobblestone where we can build the, uh, the first room and then branch off a room from that. I just need the crafting table. Yeah, throw that in the furnace down and I'll be able to start cooking. There we go. Alright, got some pork chops on the way. Yeah, let me clear out the rest of this stone and you can fill it in with dirt. Yeah. I mean, either way. start dying of hunger in a second. Hold on. Alright, let's go ahead and throw down the beds. And get some rest. So we can go ahead and skip the day. <laughs> yeah, especially this early on. Monsters are no fun. Yeah, I mean, that's that definitely makes the game more interesting. Having monsters jump in and stuff like that. Just because it, it gives you something else to do. And, I mean, you have to protect what you've built. I think that's another really cool thing about it. Alright, now build a... Clear this out to be a doorway, and then start digging this out. Go ahead and make the shape of the room. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did before and dig the shape of the room and put the cobblestone down. And this will be the room where we can kind of permanently leave the beds. Let me get this out of the way. Oh, it's more coal down here. Some more coal down here. I was gonna say if you have any saplings on you, go I'd go ahead and throw them down near the house so we can at least just have trees growing nearby. Okay, cool. Wow that I know trees do have the weird thing about being too close in order to have room to grow. But I don't know. I, I think seeds should be fine right next to one another. As long as they're next to a water source. Um, that sounds about right. Okay, here goes that. Fill that in the dirt. I missed one. Build me another pickaxe. <laughs> well, that's just that's just the thing, Derek. You've, you, whenever we play Minecraft over at your place, just the music for some reason is so super loud. I was gonna say this just feels really weird to me because I can't remember the last time I played. Well, it was it would well, no shit. It'd be over at your house, but uh, that's the last. I never really play with the music on, and I didn't bother to turn it off. So it's kind of weird. It's like, this game has a soundtrack? <laughs> Since when? Yeah. To save us some wood, I'm gonna build up the corners of the house using cobblestone. Okay, cool. That'll work. Can always use more. Oh, no, I injured myself because I, I, I dropped off from too high of a height. I tried to jump to the next thing, and it was t it was too far. All right. Let's put the, let's put the front door right here. Um, I don't know. I usually like the darker wood door because it doesn't have a window in it, and it looks, it looks a little bit more legit. these three spots right here filled in. I was going to say, we could, we just need a front door, I would think. We can leave the inside of the house open. Yeah, we can throw a back door down. Just put some wood underneath it to make it look like a continuing floor. Well, you've got the same kind of door, right? Oh, oh, you mean the wood. Oh, yeah, that works. That's fine. We can always doctor the house up later once we have more supplies. Okay. Put a 
us a double chest. Do what? Well, for the for the just yeah for the time being, I'll probably put the ceiling one more height up so it doesn't feel cramped. say we can always build another furnace just to make it a bit easier when we're cooking and harvesting stuff Actually, I got a good idea. If we switch out the darker wood with the wood in the floor, it would make it look like we've got a darker floor and the walls would all be the same color. I'll go ahead and start pulling up the floor. Let me make an axe so this doesn't take forever. There we go. Oh nice, your tree grew. conk out before night sets in. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, can you make it, dude? Oh, whoa, that was weird. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Damn it, Derek. Don't you hit on me. <laughs> All right. So with the bases of our house in and a few nights under our belt, we'll see what's going on in the rest of this world next time on Relaxing Minecraft. So see you guys then. Bye, guys.